ESET is the electric, Electricity Sector Enterprise Team. And ESET came about because for many years, Jamaica had been trying to diversify its sources uh, of fuel for electricity generation and replace obsolete capacity, and to do both of those simultaneously. Uh, and there have been a number of challenges in the process, uh, many efforts, a lot of hard work, but up until 2014, we had not achieved those objectives. If you could get a cogeneration project going on and that could bring electricity into the grid at lower cost prices with a diversified fuel source and simultaneously improve the competitiveness of the bauxite and alumina sector, it would be a win-win position for the country. Now, this is something that had been articulated by Jamaica for over 20 years as well, uh, but we had never been able to actually accomplish it. So those are the objectives that ESET had. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we had to look at is other than the project hardware in what technology we choose, it's also looking at both the regulator environment to make sure those projects will be sustainable in the future and the, the electricity legislation that would afford us something that would be modern mm -hmm. and that would have accepted a modernized system going forward. Um, so one of the first projects we looked at um, through that rapid assessment that Prof. Wint had mentioned was the BOG, the 120 megawatt in Montego Bay. Um, that project was a combined cycle um, operating on automotive diesel oil. And one of the things that we looked at is the plant was already designed to receive natural gas with some modification. So we did a conversion um, of that plant that would, have that would have taken natural gas as its primary fuel mm -hmm. and ADU as a backup fuel. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, mm -hmm. a terminal was actually built, um, a land-based terminal was actually built at the port of Montego Bay that was taking na liquefied natural gas so liquefied natural gas was transported to Jamaica by ship, offloaded onto a land-based storage, mm. and that was regasified and sent to the boat plant for mm. it to be used for generation. Mm. I think, first of all, you point to the fact that this really was a challenge, and indeed it was, and because we've been trying to do this for a long time. It's also very significant. I mean, players in Jamaica had constantly complained about the cost of electricity, and we've also had periods where reliability of supply has been a major, major issue. So these things were at the forefront of our minds. I think the lessons learned, and, and, and incidentally, the, the, the benefits are important because we're talking about upwards of one billion US dollars of investment into the sector. Uh, and the beauty of this investment from the perspective of electricity consumers is that they're not paying for it because you're having this massive investment and at the same time a reduction in electricity costs. We're very pleased that um, it seems as if um, we really have been able to uh, make a difference in terms of something that was really important for Jamaica.